So today we're going to make some side dishes, great tasting brown rice and some well seasoned broccoli. I'm going to show you how to do them together to save you some time. So we're going to start by having some onions. And again, I love adding vegetable to add that flavor on my dishes. So actually I don't need the whole onion, just half of it. I'm going to just do it very small. And again, you can go slow. Don't be intimidated by your knife. You can go slow. You can take your time with your knife. Just make sure you have some nice sharp knife to your comfort. So I'm going to move that here. Some garlic. I put garlic in everything. Now, if you're allergic to that, you can use other flavorful seasoning. So this is good enough. So now I'm going to grab some olive oil and I'm going to add some olive oil in the pot. So I'm just going to add my vegetables in here. Now, the one thing I want to make sure my heat right now is too high for the garlic. It will burn my garlic and then I will have to start all over. So I'm going to reduce the heat. Add my onions and, and garlic. Okay, so this is my rinse rice. I'm just going to add that in the pot. And now you can increase your, your, your heat. So I like to mix the rice with whatever season I have in here prior of me adding water. And the one other thing that I did prior is going to boil the water that I'm going to use for the rice. I do not add cold water to my rice because then it takes time for the rice to come up. So I have already boiling rice and in one cup of rice is two cups of water. So I already have that going. So the only other things I need to do is add a little bit of salt to the water. Now, if you don't need the salt, you can use Mrs. Dash, you can use any other flavorful uh, herbs to give your rice the season that you need. And you can add thyme or bay leaves to, for the flavor. Now, the trick to it is I'm just going to add a steamer on top of here and add the broccoli to steam while the rice is cooking. So now I have my broccoli with a nice head. So I'm just gonna cut this off. And you just florid it. Let's take those here. I use everything on the broccoli. I don't throw anything away. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So this is really all I need. Now the other things I'm a trick I'm gonna show you. Just go ahead, put this in half here. Instead of throw this away, I see so many people throw this away. Cut this off, cut the big part of it off. The middle one is so nice. So you don't need the skin part, the fibrous part, but any of the non-fibrous part, take this, slide, steam it with your broccoli. You don't waste anything. So, just gonna add that here. Let it steam. While the uh, rice is cooking, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna flavor that broccoli. I'm just gonna use one clove of garlic. I'm gonna make it a paste. Show you how to make a quick garlic paste. So, crush it. Slice it. Add a little bit of salt to create some friction. And then use your knife. And go like so. Not bad, huh? Garlic paste. And it's fresh. So what I'm going to do is warm up. Just literally bring some olive oil to uh, temperature 
and just slowly bloom the garlic and it will mix it, mix it with our broccoli. You see how it's not sizzling up or anything like that. I don't want to burn the garlic. So the, I don't want the pan to be too hot. Okay, while this is um, warming up, it's almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and move the broccoli. Not with your bare hand. Add this in here. We're good to go. So, we're good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead, show you how to just plate this really quick. Okay, so now that the broccoli is done, the rice finished cooking. Mm, smells so good. Look at that. Okay, here you are. You have some great tasting brown rice and some seasoned broccoli. So let's have a taste. Good. Really good. Bon appétit.